Got Billy Lab. <laughs> so today on the 434 deal, we're gonna show you guys, Billy's gonna show you guys how we're putting seats in the heads. So the, my cylinder heads, I wanted the copper beryllium seats because of heat, so that's an upgrade that you can get. But Billy real quick is gonna show us what it takes to shove a seat. Okay. Cause you have no seat in it and then to put the seat in and then Billy's even gonna cut a seat for the valve job. What are we doing, Billy? Well, first of all, I gotta measure the outside diameter of the seat. And we come up with 1675. I need six dial press in it. So I gotta come over here and set my gauge with my seat cutter for the flat bottom on it when you cut the hole Which out. Which is actually gonna cut the hole in the head. Correct. Okay. So then I have to set my gauge up here to one inch, 669. So I got my six dial press. Well, I put my thing on there. So basically, the, the easy way to say that is the head is gonna be 6,000 smaller than that seat. Correct. That way when it presses, it's not coming back out. Correct, it's interlocked. Set that thing and let's cut one. So oh. you cut it. I already preset it, but you set it to the gauge just to let you guys see. I loosen it up, roll it in. And we're a little, we're a little tight. We're at six, we're at one six sixty one. So I need to open this thing up about six seven thousand. So ninety percent of the time, what I do is I leave a little bit of snug right here, and then I just take this thing and move it out. I just take my Allen, put a little press on it, turn it out, come back. So here's the cutter. He's moving in and out. Okay. Set that bad boy. So then I'll just back it up. See what I got. I'm at six, one six seventy one. So I'm a little bit too big. It don't take much to adjust a couple towel out of something. So we're talking thousandths of an inch. So if you take an inch, cut it into a thousand pieces. We're talking about one of those. It's funny, them guys didn't get when I said there's over a thousand years of knowledge here. They didn't take that, that there's one guy with 40, one guy with 50, one guy, another guy with 30. They, they, nope, some guys didn't get that. The, a lot this, of them don't. Be, no, but you can't fix stupid, dude. Ain't That's what I like about it. most of the people on my page. They like to see this shit. They want to know how this is done. So I always find the highest point of the cutter, which you need to do, because if you don't, what happens if you set it to the to the wrong size, your seat will be too big. And then when it falls in, you're done. You have to go to the next one and start over. So you always then find you the highest. Then you have to get an oversized seat? Yes, you have to get an oversized seat. And sometimes as old as I am, I can't see what I'm doing. And blind. No, uh, that, 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 hey, don't worry. My fans on my page, they understand. They all got readers in their pockets. <laughs> so we're at 1.669 and like 5 tenths, which is really okay. That 5 tenths ain't going to amount to nothing. So now we're ready to cut it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, got it set, lock it down so it don't move. Then I'll go back and reset it in case it does when you lock it Takes down. It don't moved. push it out. Just make sure nothing moved. Correct. And like it, it did, it moved it out. So it takes a little bit of time to get one set. But once you have it set, like if you're doing all the exhaust in the head, uh -huh. once you have it set, then you can do all the exhaust. You just set it one time and be done. Yeah. And the thing is, instead of instead of just showing Billy cutting the head, I want you guys to see that this is part of the reason machine work is not cheap because it takes time. It takes time to do it and do it right. You can take it to the, to the guy that's got a sewage machine with stones and just cuts that shit out and it might be 3,000 difference between one hole and the next hole and the next hole, but that's the difference between having equipment like they have here. All right, we're good to go. 
And don't get me wrong, Billy's been doing this for a long time. He worked with Childers, he's worked with Hendrix, he's worked in NASCAR, he's worked with dirt cars, he's worked with uh, so we top can, fuel. So we can do, do two things. You guys probably already know, but we got to set the head up and make it level. It's got to be concentric with the guy to the seat. So there's, this head has to be level too. So what we have to do, seeing this is non cannon valve, we don't have to worry about it. It just needs to be straight in line. But you have to have it this way. If you walk over here, <clears throat> these numbers here are telling you the angle. So I have to get it. It's close. To, I got to put it on zero. There ain't as close to or anything. It's got to be zero, zero, zero across the board. So what I did right there is I went a little bit past it. Then I'll lock this knot, this gauge down here, and then I'll fine tune it in. So I'll put this lock on it. And as you can see, it's moving it as I twist this handle. So I fine tune it in. And we're about five dial out. Now we're at zero. Lock yeah, everything, everything, lock everything down. You're good to go. That is in perfect line with this, this head, the seat. So it's very important that you get the seat perpendicular with the with the valve so that when you do your valve job, it's concentric and everything's in line, not off to one side. So you get a so wide seat one way or a wide seat the other way. And if it's off to one side, then you don't have a valve ceiling. Correct. So now we've done that. Everybody knows it's in there. Set my tool up in here with this self-locking. Done, bingo. Got my gauges, my touch screen up here. So I'll lock the head, which is this big part. Slide the pilot down in the guide. And of course, it's gonna bite me. But anyways, slide the pilot down in the guide like this, pull it all the way down, back it up. And then what I normally do, this has got a pivot point. This rotates or moves side to side. This here oscillates around like this. So I got the pilot in there locked down in the guide. Then I come up here and hit the center pilot float, which is this piece right here. I hit it and I lock it down. So what it does is it locks this spindle part down so that this can't move back and forth or anything. So then once you get that set, you hit the work head, which this is the work head, and you lock it down. Then I'll come back and you unlock the center pilot piece. That way everything floats and comes back together. My gauge, my depths here, the seats, thickness this way, you have to cut the seat down in the head this thickness which is 330 thousandths up top here. This is where I set everything. This is vertical position, which is going straight down. So then I'll just hit the spindle. Had to put some light on this so I can see for an old man. So you manually bring it, manually bring it down? Manually bring it down. I do everything manually. So then I just cut. Is that a preference or you have to? You have to basically. There's no straight down unless you buy a, a new one, which is a lot of them. All this stuff's pretty new. This is all brand new stuff. No, yeah, sorry. Rottler stuff is top of the line. A lot of options. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the seat, the round seat out in the head so that I can put this copper brilliant seat in it. And I just slowly go down until I get close to the bottom. And I'm roughly 239 deep. 278. Just deep. showing how far he's going down. There's how far he has to go down. So he's only 20,000 away from being 
So now I hit the bottom of the seat where it's gonna register. I come up here, look at my gauge, and I'm three thousandths away there. So right now, this is perfect size down in the hole. I might ain't got no feeling in my fingers. So we're good there. That seat's cut to the same depth as the rest of them. And now we're fixing to put some sealer on them and lock them in. And then pound them down. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned way, hammer. I always use this weld lock or green lock tight to seal any sleeve in or anything. I already cleaned the head. I just making sure there ain't no dust or nothing in there. <clears throat> so now we got that in there, I'll go get the seats that I've been putting in the freezer freeze overnight. So, he pounds the seats in this head, we'll show him pound this one in. In the next video, I'm gonna have him set it all up. Oop, I'm gonna have him set it up to do the valve job. You guys can see these new way cutters, how it cuts three angles at one time on the cylinder head. Got the seats out of freezer, I'll lay them down in the hole. So once I start banging, I Why'd just- Why'd you freeze them? To make them smaller so they're easier to go down in a hole so they, you'll see <clears throat> it'll get them no, hard it, we're, we're explaining to them why because you got to hit it with it. Got it. and we're yeah. them two different metals to the bottom you heard it it was solid Man. see solid you can definitely tell when he hits the bottom of that and they're locked in they're not coming out get warmer so while billy's finished pounding these in next video we're going to do the valve job he's going to show you how to cut the valve